I welcome you all my listeners to another Sunday. We trust the process just as Jesus is coming through. This is another opportunity the Lord has given you and I all to be in his presence. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray committing the day into your hands. This section is also yours, Father. We need your spirit to come and take preeminence over everything. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Today we want to look at the theme, Draw Near to Jesus Christ. The theme is Draw Near to Jesus Christ. Why must we all draw near to Jesus? According to the book of James chapter 4, verse 8, the Bible says, Come near to God, while Jesus or God also come near to you. It is very good for every living soul on this earth to draw near to Jesus. Because Jesus Christ is the only source of life that all humanity must have on earth. According to the book of Mark chapter 1 verse 15, the Bible says, The right time has come now that we also draw near to God with a sincere heart. Why must we draw near to Jesus? Because we are all sinners. According to the scripture, every living soul is a sinner on this earth. So therefore, we are all called in order to draw near to Jesus because he is the only source of life to every living soul on earth. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, Jesus is calling you to draw near to him. Because without him, there is no other way. No, there is no other man that whom you can have salvation. Salvation can only be found in Jesus. He said in Matthew chapter 11 verse 28. He said, come unto me ye all. Whom your loads are heavy that you are not able to carry. Come and I, the Lord Jesus, I will add it upon mine. The burden you are going through, they are the sins and the iniquities that you cannot forgive yourself. That is why you have to draw near to Jesus in order for him to give you life. In order for him to give you salvation. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, Jesus Christ is calling us to draw near to him. If it were not to be so, the scripture would not make it clear to us. According to Ephesians chapter 2 verse 13, he said, But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far, we were all far away from Jesus. We were all far away from God because of our sins and our iniquities. But there is a solution that God think about and he brought that very reason that every man on earth should be saved through the son Jesus. And the provision God made is to send for the son to come and die while he is not a sinner. According to the book of 2 Corinthians, Chapter 5, verse 21. He said, We who knew no sin was now made to become sin for us that we should be set free. We are all expected to draw near to Jesus. How do we draw near to Jesus? We must accept the gospel of the truth. We must repent from our sins and focus on Christ Jesus because he alone is the perfecter of our faith. Hallelujah. Jesus said, Until every creature on earth has heard the gospel about the kingdom, his coming will tarry. 
there is a wake-up call for all of us who are still sinners. In fact, the Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse number 4, it says that the, 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 the power of the universe, which is Satan, has blinded the minds of many that they will not see the true light of God. And according to Isaiah chapter 59, verse number 1 to 2, he says that the Lord's eye is not blind, that he can never look, uh, in fact, that he can never look upon your, you and rescue you, but rather it's because of our sins that separate us from him. We are separated because of our sins. We are cut off from the glory of God because of our sins. Dear brothers and sisters, far away listening to our voice, you are all expected to draw near to Jesus according to Acts chapter 2, verse 38. The Bible says, Paul went around preaching the word of repentance, saying, repent of your sins and be saved, because the kingdom of heaven is near. Everywhere you are listening to our voice, you are to draw near to Jesus. Hallelujah. If you are ready to draw near to Jesus, raise up your hands wherever you are and say these prayers after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you for my life. I bless you for coming to die for me. While I'm still a sinner, God, you have sent forth your son to save me. Therefore, from today, I accept you as my Lord and Master Savior. Come and lead me in all aspects of my life, forever and ever. In Jesus' name, Amen. Should we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the privilege you've enabled us to have. We seek your power to come and reign in us. In the name of Jesus, be with us now and forevermore. Establish us on a solid rock that can never be shaken. In the name of Jesus. Amen.